lower ones today i received a package from amazon which i have right here this is a lash and brow lift this one i don't have any makeup or anything on my skin uh, because while we're doing the lashes and the brows we don't need to have any makeup or wash our faces for the next 24 hours so it can last longer so let's open up together and show how how many items it comes it comes with this just peel this so let's open up Okay, so it comes with the instruction manual. You will want to have a quick read through, even though I will explain to you and I'll show you the process how to do it. It comes with three patches here. I think there's three more in the box. We're just gonna check in a second. It comes with a developer liquid, which is for the tint. And this is the brow and eyelash tint. They're both together. Comes with a little spoolie that you can put your the tint. So you do your eyebrows, you do the lashes at the same time. So it comes with the spoolie, the micro brush, the lipstick brush. It normally I use for lipstick, but it's to apply the colors or just to remove it. Then it's a um, brow brow brush then it's for the color to apply it and then it's two more brushes so you can just use it so that's the best pack uh, then, it, then it comes with disposable gloves they're just right here and this are I think cream I will check up in a second I'll tell you why is it just opened up so give me a second so that's how it looks we have the glue we have the perming step one step two is the setting then step three the essence and step four is the cleanse uh, also you can use this one to renew the cleansing if you want it's just up to you you have a separating tool like this and let's see what lash tools it comes with so as I said, there's a lot of stuff, so which is good for £27, that's a good step. Oops. So let's see whatever it comes with. So there's another set with all the brushes, pulleys and micro brushes. Then we have three more patches, uh, the eye, eye gel patches, but I love that. So we can put our balm lashes on space so if you're doing this on yourself um, the eye patch and the tape will be your best friend since you're gonna do one eye by one eye because you can't really keep your eyes open while doing the lash lift uh, but here we have the separating tools for lashes when you glue it first and we have a different size of silicones right here you choose the length of how you want to to, to look so we're gonna choose the best one that will get to my eye so that's all it comes with which is a great amount of products right now i will try to do my eyebrows first or i'll probably do my eyes first so let's do it and i'll show you how to do it as well i will explain you step by step so i'll explain you step by step how to do it uh, right now i will grab my mirror I will sit right here and I will do a view. I will also tell you the waiting times of each setting to stay on and how to tint your eyelashes and eyebrows as well. As you can see, I have long eyelashes but they really straight as you can see on both sides. Um, eyebrows just need a bit of tint, like a bit of more shape and that should be all and I will show you how it does now and then I'll do the after also one thing I don't use the eye patch uh, it's just because I feel it's much easier to not use it when you're doing it on yourself but if you want to use it you can 
uh, it's just a simple preference that I have if I would do on someone else I would definitely use the patches and everything else but right now like this I can use just my hands and that's all because I have my eyes open and it's really no need to protect the bottom lashes so as I said it comes with the disposable clothes and it comes with the um, little I think essence for your dye to not stain your skin which you apply around your eyes and then it comes with the user manual for how to do your lash lift and everything and I'll show you what's in the next box a small spoolie like this we're gonna need the cleanser which is the solutions we're gonna clean the eyelashes right now so I'll just dip it a second that's all okay close it we're gonna use it most of the times now we're gonna just clean our lashes like this from the bottom so we remove any oil or anything that we have on them so it will stain clean like this as well careful don't put it in your eyes but yeah um you can take anything i'll just take one of my napkins like this i'll take the excess around my eyes and so i already finished cleaning it uh right now we're gonna need our silicone shield and our glue so we're gonna put it on the silicone shield and till the end so both sides be till the end so like this we already have glue on it and the glue is going to be on the side because we're going to need it in a second and we just apply it next to our lashes close as possible so I'll do it like just this I'll hold it and yeah. so that's how it looks I barely can open my eye I can open my eye like that so that's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take the glue and a tool like this and I'm using to glue them up so you wait about five seconds it's already gonna be glued down to your eyelid and now I'll put the glue on it I have a mirror down here so I can see what I'm doing. Put the glue on the silicone shield. Not all the way. So I can see what eyelashes are not put up and which ones are down. And we just like this, put them straight. Trying to get every lash possible. So you just go like this, I'll finish the rest and I'll come back to you. So i done all of them like this, I'll leave them for 5 seconds but I'll go through all of them and see if they're all straight or good. I can barely close my as well. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most uncomfortable thing to do by yourself, but it works. I already done one eye so let's see how the second one will turn out in a second. But if anything any lash is not glued make sure it's glued otherwise in the process of perming and fixing the perm it will just literally glue down and it will look not as best as you, you wish so I'm gluing everything down right now finish gluing waiting like about five seconds it will just glue down we take the perm take a micro brush we take the product from inside like this and we put around two millimeters one to two millimeters away from the roots like this and make sure to check the time when you finish putting the perm i just put the way my lashes go 
on the rest of the lamp. And like this. Bam, bam. For the pan, you already is on. I'm waiting 8 to 12 minutes. I already put it uh, 1 to 2 minutes away from my roots so it wouldn't just get in my eye. Right now, I'm waiting for the pan to set down and about right now the time is 6 30 so i'll be back to you in about 10 minutes i'm leaving in between no less or not too long so it works for me it works for the eye as well and then i will explain you the next step the palm is already all set and now we're going to use the setting which is step two we're going to use another micro brush take the product and put it the same way as we did for the palm and we wait 8 to 12 minutes again I'll wait 10 minutes that's the best time for me that works so I'll put the palm again the setting excuse me As done we finished the setting up and now we wait 10 minutes so it's 6 40 at 6 50 I will do the um, dyeing which you are by my lashes and after we've done with the eye we're gonna go to the eyebrows so we'll see you in about 10 minutes and when everything is set so 10 minutes already passed now to do your lash tint I would prefer to use a corn pad like this again just remove slightly the setting and now let's cleanse it up uh, for the tent I don't do it on the pad I simply don't like it try it there on this I didn't like it so I removed the pad and did it just on my lashes uh, right now uh, let's clean this up and remove it so we're gonna need the cotton pad again and the cleansing lotion should take okay come on just once and we clean it up so I removed the silicone pad I'll clean it later from what the all the essence that's been on it the palm the glue and everything but for now let's clean the lashes as we did the first cleaning them up uh personally you can use a cotton pad if it's gonna be much easier for you i just like to see everything that's coming off uh clean the roots as well because there's glue that might be in there okay my lashes are super long but the ends are just invisible and you can see the difference how it looks they both look amazing now as we clean it up so as i said i like to take this right now i'll just take a napkin and right i'll just clean my upper lid and the view of the lashes a bit so I clean up the glue and everything else that's stuck on them. See a bit of glue in the inner corner. It's a bit too much. It's probably because it ran down from the silicone again. So we'll clean them up for two minutes. So we make sure they clean clean. And even the upper lid. You just might just want to do this. Don't worry if it's... A bit pinkish it's nothing bad it's just the glue that's been there it doesn't cause any allergies uh, but make sure uh, when you buy it you search up or 
look on the ingredients that it contains you might have allergies or anything i checked i don't have any allergies so it's perfect for me so i cleaned everything up i'll clean again just on the top lid uh, right now for the tinting i like it to do like this way so you have two of them you have the brow tint and lash eyelash left it is black and we have the antioxidant so here i already made the mix so you pour one to one ratio just one pump of this one pump of this and you mix it up the color doesn't really matter don't don't really like bo be bothered if it's uh brownish because after it dries it will definitely be black so right now i use this brush it's much easier for me and i just go like this on up up it's basically like putting mascara on but not touching the roots so i already put like the dye on the top if you see any color on the upper lid or anything like this just clean off the cotton pad that it's already put with the cleanser uh, and i'll just dye my bones as well i just don't like that they a bit invisible so you can't really see them so i'll do this i have a mirror down here to make it much easier so we wait five to eight minutes i'll wait five minutes so right now it's 60 55 so in a seven on the top i'll clean it up i'll put the essence and i will show you as well so let's see and after we're gonna do the eyebrows which i think they're gonna be much easier so it's already been five minutes i'll remove the diner right now i'll remove the bottom one and right now i'll remove the top one i would like to use this i'll just close my eye and swipe it down i'll repeat this process like two times and then i'll just normally clean it and with the cleanser as well for the essence and i'll show you the results so now you just use this but you just do tip of your normal brush in use already this just a bit of oil and you just go through your lashes so as the final step you can go to the other one as well and right now i'll go from a bone as well so i already finished with the lashes that was the last step that we can do i'll clean up everything and then i'll start with the brows so let me show you the results so that is after i had the lash lift the tint or uh, tint only on the bottom but lash lift on the top that's how it look from the sides simply amazing both just turned out beautifully now you can see my lashes actually up i will do my eyebrows and i will be right back to you in a second after i clean everything up hello everyone again i cleaned my eyebrows as uh, so already i said that we're gonna do them now i cleaned them uh i will use the same method i used on my lashes I will just put some hairs in place since they're just going different ways and then I'm gonna do the dye and yeah that should be all for today but right now let's do the eyebrows so I already do my eyebrows right now I clean I put perm now I'm waiting for the setting which I have five minutes left so everything that I followed is right here everything it's literally in any language that you want, uh, you want as well they have a few languages here and it also sets the times and everything else like it's super easy to do 
and right now also i just want to tell you some things that you need to do after the care so poor nutrition which means the oil uh put it like daily on the lashes i would prefer to say like for the first three to four days so it will just um stay as a your natural lash and it will not damage them then brush them on daily as well uh, avoid eye makeup or any hash with any hash skincare like retinol, AH or exfoliating you know, products around the eyes for 72 hours which means in around uh, 3 days as well. Then avoid swimming, rubbing your eyes or sleeping with your face down on your pillow or on your bed as well and that should be all and also one important thing do not lash curl your lashes after do you do this uh simply right now it just looks amazing i love the effect i love it i brushed it already i can brush it right now with you as well so you can see just looks amazing both of them i love it and uh, right now i'm just waiting for my brush it for my eyebrows and that should be all and i'll be right back to show you the result so I already dyed them and put the nutrition on so the same aftercare as the lashes uh, if your eyebrows are a bit red the skin around it it's just because your probably skin is too sensitive to the chemicals that have been used uh, which is all good it's gonna go in, in about 30 40 minutes so that's all good um, that's how it looks i simply love it amazing and i recommend it to everybody and it's so affordable as well easy to use it will take long to do on yourself but it's just amazing i love it that's the results so i enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed it as well